Purdue football team is gearing up to play against Eastern Kentucky on Saturday. And for people coming to Ross Aid Stadium from out of town, police have a new suggestion on how to get to the stadium. News 18 Samantha Tiki is live with a look at the traffic plan for Purdue's first home game of the season. Sam? Yeah, I'm right outside of Ross Aid Stadium and come Saturday where I'm standing right now will be packed with the vehicles of people coming to see Purdue take on Eastern Kentucky. But this year police are asking drivers to consider a different route than in years past. Now to avoid heavy traffic in construction zones, drivers coming from the south are asked to take the State Road 38 exit off of Interstate 65 North. From there, drivers should take 38 until it becomes Main Street in Lafayette. Drivers will then take Columbia Street through downtown Lafayette, over the bridge to State Street and into campus. Lafayette Police Sergeant Will Carpenter says he doesn't think the new route will cause traffic to back up, but says officers will be ready to handle any congestion. Purdue Police Chief John Cox says the new route was designed to direct drivers around construction zones along areas like I-65 in Tippecanoe County. In the past, that State Road 25 exit has gotten really backed up from time to time. Uh, so the idea is to not necessarily avoid that, but it's also an uh, opportunity to give people alternate routes that will alleviate some of the pressure in that construction zone. We can take control of the traffic signals and we can move traffic out in a, in a pretty quick manner. So we're not really concerned that it's going to be congested. Chief Cox also wants drivers to take note of the closure of South Russell Street. He says this is mostly used by those leaving the stadium, but says there will be police redirecting drivers to the best possible route. Now, both police departments say this game will be a good test of what the rest of the season will be like, and if there are any problems on Saturday, they'll make the changes that are needed. Reporting live from outside Ross Aid Stadium tonight, Samantha Tiki, News 18.